Hey, how's it going guys? We're back with another video and today uh, we got we got a rune thing to do, you know, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. We're going to be playing the world wielder deck again because I don't think there's enough YouTube content on this. Um, there hasn't been a lot of changes compared to last time, so we have Winter's Caprice now. We have one of them. It's kind of nice. It'd be nicer to have these mutagenics become that, but it's a standard card and I don't like to craft standards, so that's just, you know, my, my thing about it. Illusionist should definitely be here, I think. Um, Felice, I believe is her name, should also be here. But, uh, it's okay. It's okay. You know, we're on a budget. And, uh, these things happen, right? The decks will still always work if you're on a budget. Well, not always work, but, you know, they'll work a lot of the time if you're on a budget because you find something to supplement it. But when you, uh, when you can upgrade, upgrade, guys. You know, there's, like, nothing wrong with it. It's just I like to round out all my decks, so we're going to go ahead and try and go in with this, yeah? You guys need a recap on what I think about the deck and stuff like that. You can check out the uh, rune video that I, I don't know when they come out necessarily, but came out the other day, right? Might be yesterday's video, might be two days, because I, I don't know when I post this video, right? Ooh, what is that? I, guess you're looking for a fight. I don't think I've seen that emblem before. For Maybe it's the most basic emblem in the world, but I, I don't think I've seen it. Okay with this, I think. It's always kind of nice to get Alice. So, this deck kind of functions a little bit like Wallet Dragon in the sense that you're going to get cords, and those cords are possibly going to brick your hand. So, at the very least with Alice, at least I'm going to buff up some things in hand, and it could buff up the weaker cards as well. Yeah, we don't got turn one, turn two. Feels awkward, man. Raw Grimnir doesn't do too much, especially when that's on board, so I'm going to go with the Goblin Leader. Goblin Leader provides board presence, right? Let's say you put something down right now. This can automatically attack this, but then this one might still be alive. And if this one's still alive, we can Alice afterwards and hit face. They have an awkward time, though, overall. That's such a strong play. That's, like, probably the strongest play you can have. Tove turn 2 to a Grimnir turn 3. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world for me. It's just it's definitely not the greatest. Not able to hit face anymore. We could hit this, but Alice could possibly kill that in one shot. Who knows what he's about to do, though? He might actually play an Alice evolve hit here. This will be big enough to hit face. This ignores the goblin, hits me. So, yeah, he can do six damage to face right here. Or he can clear the goblin, too. It's probably not that big a deal for him, though. That's all I'm thinking. Hey, shh. We wanted the goblin. So. That's perfect curve right there. It's the best you can kind of do. I wouldn't say it's the best overall, but it's really, really strong, right? Tove to this to Alice. The reason I say uh, it, it could not be the best is kind of like Alice depends on value. You're only buffing up one thing, but it depends on what's also in hand, right? If he has nothing in hand, then that's... It's still really good value. It's just not the best value is all I'm trying to say right now. Um, We can Goblin Leader, Evolve the Feria, hit there or something like that. Doesn't do so much in my opinion, though. It's like on curve is what I like about it, though. We also have Grimnir come down to the Goblin Leader. Grimnir comes down, becomes a 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five is pretty big. This will probably trade with it. This will be a 4-1 four, four, still on board after it hits here. Uh, what about this? Becoming 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, is okay. Develop a little more board presence, right? Or I can just Alice again. I'm about to lose here before anything happens is a scary thing, though. Four five can become six seven goes down to six four six four dies with this and that's just it's not a good time. I'm just gonna do this because I'm gonna run out of time for my Evo anyways or something like that. Let's just leave it. Uh, I'm most likely lost here either way. The rope didn't help because I was talking through the play, but uh, it's okay. If we get lucky, we can win off just like a Bahamut or something like that, but most likely we're we're, we're pretty done for right now, yeah? <clears throat> you should definitely be pushing face damage. 
Evolving this is good for him because he knows that the Alice will have to hit here and die if it's gonna... It, or from what's on board, he knows that this will trade now rather than just, you know, staying alive on board. Nothing amazing here, right? Gotta be grim near. I am the mad cyclone. I am a flower. I bloom on stage. You're done for. Like a bird, I sing. That looks fun. Here it goes. Ow. Practically die to anything, right? Or I mean, I I think I have to trade this off, yeah. I could hit here and it'll survive, but um, it's really easy for him to clear this and hit face. I'm like 90% sure I lost either way though, so I shouldn't be like super concerned. But accept you never know. Accept your fate. Okay, dude. Yeah, I'll accept my fate. fate. Just go for it, dude. Let's play again. The only thing I like about this play is that these two together don't kill this, although his spawn kills me immediately. Some people play, uh, what's his name? Phantom Cat or whatever his name is. The gold card that draws you, uh, two cards and does damage. That could have killed me too, actually. You know, if it just drew two neutrals right away. But, um, let's say he played it. It didn't do any damage to me. If he evolved, hit this. These two wouldn't actually kill my face. Eh. It's okay. I don't care much about my rank anyways. Not at this point in time. So. The reason why I kind of wanted to showcase the deck, right, is I played this during stream and it actually won like a reasonable amount. It was kind of weird. I think it was um due more to uh, Sahakuil Ariat stuff, right? But doesn't mean it didn't work, right? I only played the world word wielder ginger once, right? And it did not I guess you're looking did not for a do. Flight. Oh, I played it twice. That's I played it one time action. into Dragon, and I was like, you know, I, I should probably keep this, but it, it's so cool to play literally your whole hand, get double Bahamut, right? But then he Bahamuted my Bahamut, so it's like, okay, yeah, we know. We we, we, we know we know the drill. I don't mind keeping Sakuil, but I need like an earlier game presence then. Wait, this is Rune as well, though. Let's do this. We're gonna draw two cards. I'm not super confident in getting a one drop because I don't, I don't think one drops are too How too easy do? for me to get right away. But uh, getting a two drop, you know, drawing two cards and drawing a third card next turn, I believe in it, man. We get the Kaiser. That's pretty useful. It's not like the greatest thing in the world, but it's useful. Quite the enigma. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Two, three, four. Perfecto, right? So if we go Grimnir first, we protect this. If we go Kaiza first, then we get to buff up the I carrot and the Kaiza. He's going first, so I fear his Alice stuff. So I'm actually going to trade off right here immediately. I don't want his thing getting bigger to a 3-3 three, three and then hitting my stuff. So I decide I'm just going to trade it off right here. I could go Grimnir, but Grimnir, that'd be a 3-3 three, three hitting a 2-3 anyways. Being that Grimnir's, you know, 2-3. Okay, he's probably playing a different deck than we are. I mean... Everybody's playing a different deck than we are, but like I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm saying the obvious at this point. Okay, we have Sahakuo is for Phil. It looks pretty good. Sahakuo Lucifer is also pretty good. That's a actually bigger swing in terms of value, right? With Lucifer, because Lucifer heals you for four. It's for Phil does two damage to them if you if you do a Sahakuo. Uh, I don't mind this. These are my best. I can actually pick it up and throw it back down. That's not too bad at all. So I'm going to go with the carrot. And succulent. I could have put down Grimnir, but I think um, I think anything that Evolve hits kills Grimnir while surviving. S similar to how, you know, Evolve hitting here would survive as well. But I think this is just like an, an annoyance, right? I was kind of thinking Levi, but I was thinking... Well, I was thinking... Practically everything, not just uh, not just, just Levi. Like back in the old days. Okay, dude, you're gonna fight this? No, maybe he doesn't care about it. You could shoot it. He did just pick up a shot, but he wants to shoot my face. I know that. I think here it's actually more important to heal than it is to uh, like with Hawkwheel to pull out Lucifer than it is to Israfil. I mean, in this setup right here, Israfil's better. So, we can make him pick that up again. The question is, is it worth it? 
He already used the first one, so we're not like facing a bajillion damage. I guess I don't mind it. Two 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 is an okay play. Of all this, just so I can shoot his face. Falling the carrot. I mean, it, it evolves. It's cool. It's fine. It's whatever. Can't let him get an Alice out. If he's not playing Alice, but he has a Goblin Leader, he's doing something weird. I'm like 90% sure he has to be playing Alice, right? And uh, yeah, we're about to make a swing with Sock Reel next turn, right? Develop a 5-5. Five, five, probably clear one thing or a lot of things. One thing if there's only one thing, a lot of things if there's a lot of things, heal if there's one thing, and uh, push two damage while clearing probably a lot of things if there's a lot of things. Not guaranteed that I can clear a lot of things with this for Phil, right? He might play a bunch of two drops, but they could have been Alice, but I guess he didn't Alice yet, but that doesn't mean he can't just play a bunch of two drops and one of them's Faria and then evolve it with Faria. I'm just a mage. Who's that's fine with him too, running it in here. It won't be long now. I mean, that's good for him. Like back in the I did give this back to him, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get card draw stuff. I wanna hunt for things. See if I can make a play or whatever. I don't think he's pushing way too much damage. See, that's annoying, right? Alice right there. Now Israfil doesn't doesn't uh complete her role. If we do sock wheel, Israfil can hit here. The carrot can hit here. And Saha can evolve it here. It's not even really that great, to be honest. It's just that leaving things on board for him to hit my face is like big enough damage that I fear it. I could just Lucifer and hit this one. Then Saha can evolve it here. And I guess the carrot will just leave this alive. We'll hit face. Is that okay? Heal up for four rather than two damage across. Because the thing is, two damage across doesn't really do anything with these three healths here. I guess it could set up for another Israfil or it could set up for a Lyriel. You know what? He's not going to kill us. Fighting is so cruel. Fighting is so sorrow. You mustn't. Unbelievable. Let's play again. It won't be long now. Destroy our foe, down you go. I'll just push a little bit of damage. I don't mind a 2 when I'm bored. He's gonna use this to help clear out this Saha, but that's okay, it's not that big of a deal. Then discard all other cards in your hand. This is, um. Commitment. I think the dimension shift with the Queen of the Dredge is a bit of a. Uh, big commitment for a combo, right? I mean, it's like really, really strong. You could do something like throw out a Zeus, it automatically hits, then throw out um, a Dimension Shift, and then basically the Queen of the Dredge is going to hit automatically too. So then that would be 7 plus 5, then another 5 from Zeus the second time, right? 7 plus 5 is 12, that's 17 damage, I believe. Uh, what do we want here? We got a bajillion cards here. 332. Grimnir, Goblin, Varia. Varia evolve hits this. Or Lyrio could come out, shoot this, evolve hit that. So I'm going to do this because Lucifer is going to heal me rather than not heal me, I think. That's more beneficial to me. Get em. I am a flower. I bloom on stage. This ends here. Like a bird, I here it goes. So I don't think this is going to do anything to me. Might be wrong, though. Okay, so I have really, really strong board right now. I don't quite have Israfil Evolve hit, which is a bit of a shame, but it's okay. 
And Lyriel's not going to evolve it anymore either, but the board got buffer. So we're threatening an additional 3 damage right here, and they all have additional 3 survivability. It's possible that he mutagenic bolts here, and I'm just left with all these 1-1s one that also I hurt me. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, okay. I'm I actually haven't seen this card too often. It's, um, dirt. pretty threatening. Not gonna lie. He should kill this, though. If I actually played an Alice or something crazy here, he'd, he'd, he'd have regrets, right? You can't just... You can't just let it live. Unfortunately, we don't have enough damage on board to just kill this. Really annoying. That's okay. That's actually perfectly fine, in my opinion. Hector's pretty solid, but um, do I really want Hector here? I want Isserfil to heal me up. Hector does kill this, though. It's a shot plus the carrot. And then it puts down the ward, and I can do stuff like Witch of Sweets as well. I really want to put down this Isserfil, but I guess we should Queen of the Dread Sea later for that stuff, right? So let's draw first. These are my best work. Shoot you. On the war field, a shining helmet. Eat your veggies! Preposterous! Shapely and succulent! Okay. So he wants to again have board control. We're at 10 health is the scary thing, right? He's got 10 play points, 7 cards in hand. That's a lot of cards. Uh, you. No. That's one of the only the things, world. man. Uh, one of the only things. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Hmm. Quite the enigma. Change cost from a neutral card, excluding Queen of the Dirt Sea, and a non-neutral card in your hand to zero, then discard all the cards in your hand. Huge commitment. I don't think I have a non-neutral card. Maybe it was a misplay to play Witch of Sweets there. To draw the card. Because if I play Queen of the Dread Sea right now, all I'm getting down is like an Istrafil or something. Or Lucifer. This heals for 4. This heals for 4 per turn. Uh, he's got 4 damage right there. He would just need the Felice or whatever it's called to uh, fight me. And then he's good to go. I could just play Israfil normally too, but I think it's okay to abandon my hand and just have a huge stud on board. I'm going for it. Shall I grant your fragile dreams? Fighting Bit of a shame. So no dimension shift stuff, but at least we're healing. Lucifer was kinda really needed, but so was Israfil. Maybe I should have just put down Istrafil there, and then I could have done this with Lucifer the following turn. Unbelievable! He might not have the shot I'm though. Sorry. Oh, okay. Impressive. No, he's got it then. Freaking Grimnir, so man! Holy crud, dude! No! Uh, that was annoying. No. I'm not gonna lie. Tilt. No! Impressive. Looks like you are. Feels bad, man. I think we could have taken that one. Had we not just, uh, did the Hector play into a Grimnir. I was kind of aware of it, but then at the same time I was like, Rude never does Grimnir, but what am I saying? This is, this is the neutral metal meta now, right? Everybody does Grimnir. At some point. Not everybody's actually running 3x Grimnir, which is interesting. Like, uh, I don't know. It, it's still in the testing phases, right, fight. when it comes to cards. There's a lot yeah, of other cards to consider now, but I still feel that Grimnir's probably a 3x in, like, most decks. Maybe I'm wrong. This is super awkward. I've never had this happen before. The deck is, like, not 90% rune, but pretty, pretty high. I mean, not 90% neutral, but pretty high percent percentage neutral, and which is sweet just in proc here, which is really weird. I could pop that back to his hand. Uh, I think I should now. Because this doesn't draw me a card. That's so weird.
Okay, now we're drawing cards, alright? Drawing cards is good. Maybe I pop it back to his hand one more time? It's pretty funny if I do that. Let's do it one more time. World Wielder Ginger, okay. So what trips me up is World Wielder Ginger is all allied followers become zero. Whereas uh, the Queen of the Dread Sea is kind of the opposite. Where, um, where, 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 where it, it's, it's not the opposite, but like other things become zero, but it can include spells. And that's what trips me up. Uh, you know what? Let's just draw. I'm not scared of this, really. My best work. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not scared of it now. We got all this going on. I could evolve it, but that's not that big a deal. Let's just keep it as is. These can definitely become two threes right away. Whatever he plays, let's say he plays a Genos or a Luminous Mage. Luminous Mage evolves and hits here. And then maybe one of these hits here or something like that to get the other one bigger to hit face. At that point, I can Winter's Caprice that. It's a little bit awkward because he is going to push like four damage to face afterwards and he would have already pushed like maybe three damage to face. The next batch will be tastier. It's not the greatest thing in the world just now. That's okay for him. I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, that's so interesting. At least pushing six damage, maybe eight if he does this. Wow. That's my whole turn just for this, though. That sucks for me. And there's no Isra Phil's Hakko combo in sight, right? Pretty bad time. These dudes are cool. Let's see. I can play this, evolve hit here, get all my neutrals in hand uh, to a good size or whatever. Could get him some big value. It's the only problem right now. If I do this right now, I can evolve it here, right? And he'll play something, evolve it here. This will be at four. Four drops me to eight. If I Winter's Caprice the following turn, it's pretty bad. I can probably shoot with Lyriel to kill whatever that was and then hit this because it'll go up to five five and survive. I'm taking a guess, but I don't know. If we were to uh, Winter's Caprice there, right, I'm going to we are the essentially dropping his damage down from whatever to two, right? One, one. So that's that two. If we do this, we drop it down to three. So we're actually, we're, we're just preventing one less damage than before. This has potential damage. This is a scary thing though, right? If he kills this, it gets bigger by one more. That's really annoying. Let's play again. Unideal. Okay, though. Leo can come down, shoot this while hitting this. That's like the one nice thing here. Um, anything else super nice? I probably have to Grimnir too. That's okay. Grimnir's good in general. I am the Mad Cyclone. My boss works us to the bone. It won't be long now. My wings are killing me. Part of the job. Ah. So, essentially, if I were to Winter's Caprice the turn before that, instead of Alice, I right, it would abide. turn out not that great for I'm the most lose. part. Brothers in battle. Okay, Ow. Winter's Caprice here looks pretty a okay. It's only that in Feria, though. I would like to Grimnir instead or something, but that's okay. I am a flower. I bloom on stage. <gasps> oh! Crud! I didn't realize that's both. Okay. I'm stupid. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This also would be a 3-3 on board with Evolve Potential. But, um, now it's just, uh... Oh, now it's just fodder for him. Real bad. Unbelievable. 
<laughs> We're so close, we can't have it. Just one play, right? Grimnir, Alice? Mutagenic, we lose two anyways. I am the Mad Cyclone! Lands of wonders! Lands of marvels! This ends here. Oh wait, is this house not big enough? I'm going to change the world! Oh, Cardi's not big enough. Looks fun. I feel well, that's awkward. Oh, man. Totally was not paying attention enough for this game. Forward, unrelenting. That's cool. Ow. You should hit this. this. No. Yeah. Let's play again. What a waste from Evolve, man. Yeah, whatever. Disaster, my only desire. Disaster, my only desire. May all life prosper and be yeah. blessed. Fighting is so sorrowful. Glory found you. For some reason, I thought this card couldn't attack face, so I was like, eh, maybe I'm living with this only at three or whatever, but I know he has storm Impressive. either way. Looks like you are. Feels bad, man. Ugh. Can't expect someone to misplay that so, so, so much, right? Oh, I still think it <laughs> takes something. We will win with this deck. It, it, it is a given, man. So, without the snowman misplay, right? I think the fang blade hit whatever. Did it? No, I don't know what quite killed the snowman. I think the snowman killed the snowman and he hit face. Maybe I'm wrong though. Yeah, whatever. There was a couple misplays there. Ooh, selector supreme. That's a cool. That's a cool banner. I guess you're Flare. for a fight. Thing. Flare. Flare. I know my words. This isn't better. I mean, it's okay. Well, okay, it's not. Uh, it, it's it's relatively bad. Roll or ginger, you never really want to see until like the end. Okay, we're starting off with a curve though. Bonus player one. People tend to be liking player one nowadays because of your ability to have Alice and then trade things off. Uh, Tove is a pretty big exception exception to something like that. But this is okay. Imagine if this were reversed, right? He's probably gonna play his own goblin leader now, and then this would have actually wrecked me. As opposed to now, this probably just clears this, and then I Alice, and then I can clear this kinda easily. Right? Hey here. Y'all. He's feeling hungry! Buffs up hand. Feels good, man. Now, this could trade here, or it could just hit here, and then we ignore hit here, something like that. Or hit here, even. We don't have to deal with this right away. It's not going to get buffed up by an Alice or anything like that. If it trades with this, it trades with this. Um, I just don't want this to get buffed up by Alice is the only thing. If I hit right here, when this one gets buffed up, it'll actually kill mine. You know what? I'll be playing it a bit too safe, but I think it's okay. Everything trades with Tove right now, so he might run face. Big Knuckle Brawler is like the scariest thing in the world, man. I haven't seen one in a bit, but every deck's running it. 
What the heck is going on? Or every blood deck's running it. That's why I haven't seen it in a Let's bit, you know? Again. But I mean, e even with that, I still haven't uh, seen too many. Oh, we can just shoot that. That's normal, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just checking if there's a better play right now, and I think this is the way to go, though. We can shoot here, evolve this at face. We'll have two four fours on board. It's okay. Um, similar place would be like maybe a Grimnir or a Lyrial or something like that. Or those two together, or a Goblin Leader and a Lyrial. This can go up to 4 5, which will actually kill this. And then he has to kill the Goblin Leader. Um, it will play into a Scarlet Sabrur. Being at 4 5, then hitting a 3, it'll go down to 4 2. So I think the Hector's the way to go. On the warfield, a shining helmet. Uh, that one didn't count. You're done for. Leaving this on board, which might be a mistake. Armor weapons more. I like. Well, I, I like the idea of that, that that I'm being the threat right here. Of all points, are really really valuable now in um in the Wonderland Dreams, aka Neutral expansion, right? Because Feria, Lyrial, and everything kind of has an evolve dependent effect. So, evolving this might be the wrong decision, but I I don't know, my inner smork told me, just hit face, right? Just just do it. It'll work. Scarlet Sabur came out like I thought. Them. That's an interesting target. I wouldn't power. have expected that, actually. One Why would you shoot that, though? I'm sorry. I mean, okay, I guess so. No, 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 I guess, no, no, you're probably right. You're probably right. I'm tripping. Hey Jack, we need a save for the spawn, so I think we try to get as much out as we can, right? Lyrial's not good enough to just evolve shoot it. Unfortunately for us, another big knuckle bodyguard will actually just kill this goblin leader. If we evolve preemptively, there's a number of things that can happen that would feel like it's a huge waste, right? Could have prevented that with the evolve though, but you never know what what else he would have had in hand to deal with it. Get him. I'd say that's a pretty good trade for him, just to hit right there. Hungry. It looked like for a second that he might not trade, but it, it, it's a pretty good hungry. trade. Uh, what does that even mean? I can do though, in terms of uh, the Queen of the Dread Sea. I don't know, I think it's pretty awkward. I'm just gonna meet a Genic here. It's gonna break my hand for a bit, and then clearly my other cards are pretty expensive, right? I like! Give me that! He's gonna hit me for six next turn minimum. Eight with this. It's six because each one of these is gonna hit. If I hit him right now, he actually goes into uh like. vengeance, so let's not do that. Even though he's like probably playing the spawn deck, doesn't mean that Vengeance isn't valuable for him, right? He probably has Alucard and he probably has um, Emeralda. So we don't really want to give it to him anyways, yeah? Okay. Come on, man. These are my best work. I want to keep this in case he has spawn, but if he has spawn, he's probably going to get immediate value and evolve hit me. It, it's coming out next turn. Tough spot. So, the ginger only has really, really big value and we have a bunch of things in hand, but we have nothing in hand right now. Winter's Caprice could be kind of played. 
This guy isn't attacking though. If we use the Evolve here, we can't use it next turn when we have the World Builder Junior coming out, right? And we might really, really need it next turn, so I think we do this this turn, we just end turn here. I mean, it, it didn't even prevent so much damage. Yeah, he spawned there. That's really, really bad. That's what I expected him to do right on turn eight. Let us conclude. Thy punishment, the unfeeling dark! Not here. Not now. I feel slushy. Unbelievable. Ah! Unbelievable. Okay, that's what I was actually hoping for. Disaster, my only desire. My boss works us to the bone. Shall I grant your fragile I dreams? Am the father, the god of all. So, what's the play here? This can evolve hit, which is uh okay. If this hits here, it almost dies is the problem. And almost dying, the best I can do is I can shoot here, hit here, and then this one's still alive. If this has at two health, he just has to shoot this, and this one can go face to kill me, which is the problem. Um, if I evolve it with this, if I evolve it with this, I can just hit this one or something. I guess I can't stop his Emerald or what? No, his Emerald would just kill. Uh. The Emeraldo would kill this anyways, and the snowman would get past either way. My wings are killing me. I'll part the job. I feel slushy. I feel so you're slushy. hoping, right? If I win this, I'm super lucky. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't calculate that, you know? I was like, oh, well, the World Ginger, I kinda need something like this in hand to, like, get rid of some snowmen and stuff like that. And the snowman, I was like, oh, Spawn's gonna come out, he's gonna hit some, I'm gonna have a bad time, right? I had to play the Witch's Sweets in order to get out the, um... Get out the, uh... Blah, 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 the Winter's Caprice, right? Otherwise, I could've just, you know, wintered it and then just... Maybe done something else? I don't know. It was a shame because um, we had the winter and we had the mutagenic, but we needed to use it earlier on because this deck isn't super good at developing an earlier board. Did he just actually rage quit there? Like, come on, dude. You hit a spawn. How, how mad can you be? I mean, I guess you can be pretty mad that I'm at one health, but still, that's just part of the game. Your strength is oh, we take it! Alright guys, I'm gonna call that it for this deck, right? Um, we're probably not gonna reuse it. Again. I mean, we might, depending on how stream goes and what people want to see, you know, live and all that, right? But, uh, I mean, we, we made it work one time, right? Just the World Wielder Ginger. It didn't work out last, last, I mean, okay. The deck has won plenty of games, right? Not, 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 not this, this, this video. It's won plenty of games, it's just that... We haven't used this to win the game, and that's all I wanted, man. I just wanted this to work out just one time, you know? And we got it. We're here. we ended it there, guys. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, check me out, twitch.tv slash quasipro. Check out the Discord, and, um, yeah, check out the other videos if you're feeling it. Share, share, subscribe, whatever, man. Latest. Oh, boy.